Welcome again to Pork Fest. We're going to get started here because we're uh, about eight minutes behind schedule already, and some of us actually like to be on schedule. Our jobs work that way. Carla, snuggle up. Come on. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry. That's not going to happen because I'm sure Paul's going to ask eight questions. Um, so this is a Meet the Board panel. This is the Free State Project Organizations Board. This is four of the seven members, and uh, we're going to probably talk very short, mostly take Q&A, because we want to hear from you if you have anything, and because there's almost nobody here, we hope this is short. Um, if you guys want to see Silk Road, don't ask any questions. Uh, let's just introduce uh, across the stage. Ha oh, God. Let me give this a shot. Hi, my name is Carla Garrick, and I'm the president of the board. I'm also very hoarse, so I'm going to hand this over this way. And my name is Varen Swearingen. Um, I've been on the board for, I think I'm like the senior board member, which means nothing, just that I'm a, a glutton for longer, um, <laughs> that I'm old now. Uh, and, well, and since I have the, the microphone, I'll uh, introduce the missing people. The board has seven people on it. We are four of those seven. Um, Aaron Day has been around, obviously you know Aaron, uh, no, okay, so Aaron's not here, uh, Sharon Osborne had a kid issue, so she was not able to be here, Rich Goldman is stuck in California working, stuck, he moved there, I don't know why he did that, um, we can all razz him about that in his absence, and then we're on to Jody. Okay, so Rich moved for love. Let's be nice. <laughs> I'm Jody Underwood. I, you know, honestly, I don't know what year I started on the board. I'm not keeping track, but yeah, I've been on the board for about four or five years. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm Seamus Oskali. I'm the treasurer of the Free State Project, and uh, I joined the board and became treasurer in 2011. Um, I've been a me member of the Free State Project since a little bit before the vote. Um, and I was mostly a donor for most of the time up until 2011 when I was asked to uh, take on the role of treasurer. So. so with that, I don't think, you don't have a presentation? I don't have a presentation. And by the way, Rich, uh, Carla is currently the president of the organization. So the board has seven members, and then there are four executives, all of whom are on the board. Jody is the secretary. Seamus is the treasurer. Carla is the president. The vice president position right now, I believe, is listed as vacant. And um, uh, also on the board, we have Carla was a pork fest organizer. I was, uh, I've done everything, I think. Uh, pork fest, vice president, president, et cetera, development, blah, blah, blah. Um, Rich uh, Goldman organized pork fest also twice. And uh, Aaron is fairly new on the board, as is Sharon. And pork fest. oh yeah, and Sharon organized Pork Fest uh, two years ago. I think it was two years ago. So most of us have been um, either currently or formerly active in organizing, actually doing things. Uh, so with that, um, we would like to actually hear your questions. I, we could blab, I think, but uh, we want to know what your questions or comments or feedback or anything like that is. So there's a microphone right here. Step on up if anybody has anything for us. And, and this is your opportunity. We hear a lot of, we see complaints on Facebook and questions and misinformation. This is your opportunity to get it from four horses' mouths right now. Is, do we have the microphone over here operational? That's a problem we should fix. So the, qu the question, yeah, are you ready right now? Okay. Okay. 
Did you register for Porkfest? Yes. Because that registration, they had a list of people on the registration. It asked you whether you were a signer or not. And if you weren't, they were supposed to ask you. So that was one way we were supposed to catch that. Well, didn't happen. Oh, did you answer that question? I don't remember. OK. And it could happen, right? Right, and there are people walking around and stuff. I apologize for it, but you know, you could get four now. Well, there's two things. One is, well, yes, you caught a hole in us, so we appreciate that. But you know, you can just do it yourself. And in fact, you could go out and recruit people too, right? Everybody can do it. It doesn't need to be the board and the organization to do it. And there's a lot of people who do this stuff on their own too, right? They don't wait for us to tell them to go do it. But you can get four people in unison to say, how, now, how, what do we want to say? Project. <laughs> right. Yeah. Ready? Ready? And welcome, welcome to the Free State, State Project. Project. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you for that. And yeah, for those who didn't hear the question, it was if the Free State Project organization's purpose is to get people to sign and move, why is it he's been here since Monday and nobody's asked him to sign? He's ready to move but is not a signer. So that, that just illustrates that somehow uh, there was a crack that, that got slipped through and all of that. So those are the kinds of feedback that we, you know, we, we need to hear. So uh, can you tell me your name, new signer? Joe. Joe. So Joe, I noticed that you have been stalking me, right? <laughs> Standing near me, like often, right? I mean, and then I still sat back and didn't do anything, but I, I felt stalked, so I'm just saying. <laughs> and in case uh, anyone else is in the same position, in the program there is a sheet to sign up for the Free State Project, so it's there, and please sign up if you haven't already. Any more questions? Good, meeting adjourned. <laughs> Come on up if you have a question. I'm, I'm almost always all the way kidding, but it's, the mic is on now, so speak in, hold it, hold it closely. I was just wondering if there's possibly already anything that connects communities um, on the Facebook, not Facebook page, the actual website for the Free State Project or like um, connecting businesses and I see a little bit of stuff like the directs towards the ACLU and a few resources, but I didn't know if there was a, a means where we can update things ourselves, personally, as individuals. I, I'm not sh sure what you're asking. I mean, there's a, there's a forum off the, off the freestateproject.org website, a and, you know, other than that, on Facebook, there are a lot of different groups, and there are a lot of different groups. There's, you know, entrepreneur groups. There's um, job-wanted groups. There's... Um, Oh, goodness, but I, I'm not sure exactly what you're looking for. I guess that answers my question. So the forum would be the place for everyone to kind of connect and be like, hey, we do this, we do this. Yeah, and even just, like, so in, in New Hampshire, there's the Porcupines group, and that's where you can just throw out anything you want to introduce yourself, say what you do, what you're looking for, who you're looking for. People will show you the groups that you want. I don't know all of them off the top of my head or even right. under that, right? Um, but other people do, and, and the there's... So the Free State Project group on Facebook is, is more about uh, recruiting, right? It's about, well, you know, what's, what's good about New Hampshire and stuff like that. So people, some of them you, you need to get moderated in order to post because they want to make sure it's appropriate to the group and not everybody knows what the purpose of each group is. So, you know, be patient if, you know, you might be posting to the wrong group. Hopefully they'll write back to you and say, hey, post in this group instead if you get the wrong group. But I mean, yeah, you can just start looking around and ask. Go, porcupines would be a good place to start to ask about where you should go. And if you want, well, I mean, there's also a calendar. The, uh, do you know what the, the name of NH Liberty Calendar? Um, dot org. There we go, nhliberty.org. Uh, for just events, and there are meetups all across the state. And so you can just, you know, go to meetups in different places and face to face talk to people. Uh, and then they can point you to different directions also. Yeah. All right, this probably isn't even, you can take it off. All right, so I've got a couple things. One is, this is my brother, he's just giving you a hard time. He would have signed by himself, but he just, he's No, he found a, a bug, no, it's awesome. Okay, yeah. anyway, um, also I was wondering, are there Liberty Forum tickets, like, 
being pre-sold at Pork Fest? Yes. <laughs> All right, so where does one find those? Because I've been wandering around all week and haven't um, heard anything about it. We, uh, it, it needs to be up online, and Liam, who's been wrangling all the speakers, has been pretty busy. So the idea is it's supposed to be up. It might not be, but it'll be at nhlibertyforum.com. By, I don't think so, no. So it'll be live sometime next week. We've had a little rough time with the website. Okay. But it'll be soon. And it's going to be awesome. And excuse me, uh, Liberty Forum will be March fifth through the eighth. It'll be in Manchester. And Carla's going to speak all day the rest of the day on horses. <laughs> all right. Also, um, I don't know. Ju just sort of throwing this out there. I feel like maybe it would be a good idea for there to be more encouragement of people to unofficially volunteer as as like a welcome wagon. I know this is my first time at Pork Fest, really my first time at any Free State Project event. And coming in, you really don't know anyone. And it's sort of hard being the newbie to just walk up and introduce yourself to someone. And I mean, I was involved with the One Pot Cook-Off, and that really worked w very well for me. I was able to meet a bunch of people, but I can... Imagine that if I wasn't, I could have walked around the whole time and not really met anyone. So Thank you for the endorsement of the One Cop Pot Cook-Off, by the way. Awesome. Yeah, Edie's the organizer. I don't think you two met. Oh, yeah, I guess at the end. You met at the end, yeah. So that's Edie. I married a, a good woman. Yes, yeah, so um, there, uh, we've had, There's. I guess there's two two parts to this. One is people who come to New Hampshire not at Pork Fest or Liberty Forum, and there has been at times a, a greeter program. I believe that's still active, correct? So if you email moving, what's the address? Or no, visiting, visit? Go to, yeah, or just go to the contact button. Go to the contact button on the website. I think there's an email address that's somewhere on this that says you're visiting New Hampshire. That will connect you with people. Um, if you're coming some other time. Here at Porkfest or Liberty Forum, um, I'm going to hand the mic to Jody because I think she's going to answer that question. Yeah, I, I mean, I have a partial answer. There, there are, um, what is it called? Uh, Ambassadors. No, no, well, that's another thing. But um, there, there, have, there have been a couple of sessions, and I think they were family. I think that was the color coding was for families. But to just like meet and greet, mixers, it was something like a uh, something breaker. What is Icebreaker. That's what they called it. it was, it's in the schedule. And it says kids welcome, but I think it means anybody. So I don't know if that invited only families or not. I actually, you know what, I put it on my schedule so I could go and be on the welcoming side, and I just never got there. Uh, my bad, but I, I, so I don't know exactly what happened. So I, th I mean, I think it would be good to have that in general and not have it be a, a kids oriented thing. Um, but I don't know that I'm not, see, here's another thing. I mean, as the board, we're not the pork fest organizers. There's a whole group that does that. Um, but so how can, how can feedback, I mean, we can write it down, but you know, if anybody else has feedback about pork fest, there should be a place to actually submit feedback. And I, I'm not sure what that is. We, we liked your minestrone soup. Um, and it, it is hard. It's hard. Like, I'm, I'm pretty much an introvert, so it, it's hard, you know, the first time you go somewhere new. Um, I, I don't know what to do about that in general, but you guys are welcome to come by. You're right near our campsite, so you guys are both welcome to come by tonight. We'll be there. Um, anyone else who has any questions, we're campsite 56, so... You know, if you don't feel like asking a question in public, feel free to come by and just hang out or ask us whatever. That's cool. Any others? More questions? And, and you can spread the news around that um, the board hears very little directly in terms of a complaint, a question, um, suggestion, those kinds of things. Very, very little directly addressed to all of us. There is an email address now, board at freestateproject.org. So if you hear people, you're here now, which is good. If you hear of people saying, oh, what's the board about, or what's the blah, 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 um, tell them, first of all, we scheduled a session and you missed it. 
Sorry. And second of all, if you have questions, please email board at freestateproject.org, and we, one of us, or maybe more than one of us, will get back to you. I was just going to tell you my experience. My first time I was here, we had moved to New Hampshire. We honestly didn't know anybody. We we're early movers. We've been here since 2007. Um, and, we, you know, we met a few people, and they encouraged us to come to Pork Fest. And so we, we, we're at Bardo Farm, and so we, we set up an exhibit table just because we figured that would be good. And that was a really good way to get to know people. Suddenly, we, you know, the next year was already a reunion for us. You know, we, we just met tons of people. Not everybody can do an exhibit table, but, you know, it is a free market set up here. So, you know, I'd recommend next year, you know, figure out something to sell, something that's missing this year, and you'll meet tons of people next year. I mean, it's one idea. Any other questions, comments, suggestions? I heard yours. We have, in fact, we got a whole book full of them, which was really nice. Uh, pork fest, is there a pork fest feedback mechanism that you know of? Uh, no. I was like Board at freestateproject.org. <laughs> if you have pork fest, if you have pork fest feedback, and I would very strongly encourage you and pass this around please do put it in writing and email it to us. If you say something to us, we may remember it, but we are people. We forget things. So if you put it in writing, there's a much greater chance that we'll be able to address it. Yeah, we, and we may do a survey. We've, we've done that from time to time. Go ahead. Um, so what's the main function of the board? The board is the, uh, there's kind of two functions. One is strategic and the second is legal. Um, there's a legal organization that was founded in 2001 as a Nevada nonprofit corporation. As you may know, corporations have to have boards. That's a legal requirement. Um, that was, uh, the b original board was five people. It was expanded to seven. And then we reincorporated in 2009, I believe, here in New Hampshire. Um, so we have a legal obligation to uh, oversee the finances, um, hire and fire the officers, and so on and so forth. The strategic reasons are a little bit more apparent if you read through the bylaws, which I believe now are on the website. They were on the old one. They're available online. Um, and the board's strategic purpose is to um, ensure or do the best that we can to ensure that the mission of the Free State Project is maintained and carried out and appropriately refined. So it's kind of a, um, a wisdom strategic advisory level thing. The board um, w is is responsible for maintaining the bylaws, which includes the statement of intent and the participation guidelines. Um, and then the board sets policy that the president um, follows with respect to strategy and things like that. The board then um, retains the, the officers who then manage the volunteers and everybody else in the organization to kind of carry that out. But if there's a big strategic issue, you know, annual budgets, um, s statement of intent, you know, do we do politics or not? No. Um, and so on and so forth. Those are things that the board handles and that's strategically why we're here. Is that a satisfactory answer? And a follow up? So I'm not familiar with nonprofits to the extent whether I know that if they we have to pay taxes to the government. Ah, very good question. Um, the, there's there's a couple of tax issues. The first tax issue is what does the Free State Project do? The second tax, it, you know what, Seamus, you answer this question. <laughs> um, as a corporation, we we would have to pay taxes, but we don't make any money. So in reality, we don't pay taxes. Uh, we're, we're in the midst of seeking 501c3 status recognition, um, and this has been going on for um, over two years uh, because the IRS's strategy is to deny people by delay. Um, so we may not get that. The reason we're seeking that is uh, to help our donors because if you donate to a 501c3, that's tax deductible. Um, it doesn't really have anything to do with the Free State Project not paying taxes because we don't make money. Um, does that answer the question? Yeah, so okay. with the, the 501c, we still don't have to... No. <laughs> we, we started working on that at uh, Liberty Forum 2012. And that's the second go-around. And that's, the, yes, that's the second go-around. Uh, uh, very early on, uh, there was an effort made to, to obtain 501c3 status. Uh, and that was abandoned um, probably 
uh, well, I don't want to, I don't want to speculate, but um, yeah, that's that is their strategy. I, I'm pretty confident of because they they every time they have to do anything at the IRS, they you know it's more than six months. Uh, they they've told us that they're going to issue a letter of proposed denial, which we can appeal. And they told us that in January, and we haven't seen it yet a half year later. So, um, you know, yeah, yeah, it, it takes a real long time for them to sort things out, apparently. But uh, I'm not going to say anything more about the IRS. Anything else? Uh, what about permitting, licensing-wise? Do they get a little money from us that way? To uh, not... Yeah, our exp our expenses like there's no income tax that we pay because our expenses meet or exceed our revenue every year. Um, I don't know as far as the events. Do we do any permitting here? Government permitting. I don't think we do at Liberty Forum. I don't know if we do here. So I think the answer is I think the answer is no. Awesome. Any other questions for those of you that just walked in the room? Free. This is the Free State Project Board. Four of the seven members. And we're taking questions and answers, and the sooner we finish, the more minutes of Lynn Albrecht, mother of Ross Albrecht, 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 um, Silk Road founder, alleged, alleged Silk Road founder, among other things, that everyone can hear. Are we done? Thank you for coming. Appreciate it. And we'll see you all, I hope, next year. <laughs>